What's up, people? Long time no see. It's been almost two weeks since I posted on this channel. I just had a lot of stuff going on. Not gonna lie, I kind of got burnt out on posting on this channel. Uh, just having one channel is more than enough for me, but uh, I've already built this channel up, so I want to continue doing it, and I figured I would uh, go ahead and use the same schedule that I'm doing on my main channel and do the same thing over here. So I'll be posting on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5 o'clock on this channel, and then on the main channel, Jared Crocker, I'm going to post on Mondays, I'll go live at 7, and then Wednesdays and Fridays I'll post videos at 10 in the morning. Uh, this channel will be more of just behind the scenes, doing stuff on the property. I'm going to try to stay away from doing every video in a vehicle driving into town. Uh, it's just today is kind of hectic, I have to go into town twice. Uh, so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, post this video have it out by five o'clock and then you'll see me live tonight at seven so hopefully you'll join in it'll be a lot of fun i once again always have fun on my live chats it's fun uh, just interacting with everybody trying to answer questions if i miss your question just comment again or try to tag me on there and hopefully i'll see it i'm not trying to ignore anybody but once again if there's a lot of people in there it's hard to keep up with comments so uh, just keep an open mind and comment as much as you can and i'll try to get to your comments uh, as far as the shed goes, uh, I did not get to finish clear coating the outside like I wanted. I'll probably end up doing that when I get home today, which I got to pick up a paintbrush while I'm in town. I got to finish doing the shutters on the back side of the house and then the shutter I did on my bedroom wall. I got to finish clear coating those and then clear coating the uh, skirting on my bedroom side. Uh, once again, at, right after I put them up, it started raining for, I don't know, three or four days. So. Uh, I want to knock that out before it, it starts messing up the wood at all. And then I thought about going back over with a uh, like a golden tint, like a golden stain, to see if it'll make the wood pop even more. But I'll wait for this clear coat to completely dry and cure, and then I'll go back over and test it out and see if that works. So uh, that, and then I'm going to start working on framing up my bedroom and bathroom walls. I think that's going to be a, a game changer on the inside. It's definitely going to change up the look. It'll uh, probably make the building look a little bit smaller in the inside, but it'll give me a good understanding of exactly what I'm working with, and uh, I'll know exactly where I want to put all my electrical outlets, uh, switches, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've, I've already picked up all the 2x4 stuff like that. I've already started laying them out. I just got to mark everything and then wait till uh, Jason's done with the uh, nail gun. He's working on the tiny house right now. So maybe this evening he'll come over and we'll take the nail gun in there and just put them all together real quick since I already have everything lined up and ready to go. And uh, once we get all that done, we get all the electrical stuff going, I, I'll start doing the spray foam, which I've already ordered. I think it'll be here next weekend or this weekend coming up. Uh, they said between August 5th and August 8th, so I guess Friday through Monday, sometime through there. I ordered two of the uh, froth pack kits. It's closed cell foam. Um, I did a lot of research on going back and forth, and I, I chose to do closed cell. Uh, I'm hoping that these two kits will do the entire house. Uh, they're not cheap by any means. It was basically a thousand dollars a kit. I bought two of them, so it was like two thousand and ten dollars for both of them. So, like I said, I'm hoping that'll be enough to do it all. If not, I'll have to order another kit. But uh, I think in the long run, it'll definitely pay itself off as far as keeping the place cool and keeping it warm as well. <clears throat> I uh, talked to my neighbors that are across the street that I've shown. I knew that was going to happen. Let me see here. Let me, uh, I'll flip you down around real quick. There we go. I don't have a, uh, a phone stand. I'm in Jason's truck right now, so I don't have a phone stand in here. But uh, I talked to the neighbors. They use closed cell. They've used the same kind of kits. They said it can get messy, so order a suit and stuff, which I went ahead and did that. I ordered two suits. Uh, they come with like a full suit that covers your feet. It has a hoodie on it. Uh, it comes with like one of those uh, the mask that a bunch of these uh, weirdos are wearing around here for, because of uh, COVID. Like the ones with the, the big face shields. Uh, so I'm going to look like a scientist and then have gloves and everything. I bought two of those suits. Uh, one for me and one for Jason. Because I think with this the spray foam... You have to go pretty quick with it and you can't really stop too much because of the tips they'll uh, get clogged up so I think something like that 
uh, I'll have his help out on that. And I think whenever he does it with his, I'll help him out because it'll just go a lot quicker. We can just take turns going and getting it done. And uh, like I said, hopefully it'll it'll all work out and not get too crazy in there. Um, the one I got can fill up to four inch gaps. So I got to spray it real quick so it doesn't expand out past the two by fours. Uh, I'm thinking of doing maybe two inches, maybe three inches thick all the way around and then uh, in the ceiling maybe do it a little bit thicker since it's got the uh, two by sixes up there but that's some of the stuff that's coming up and then uh, this channel uh, like I said I'm, I'm kind of in the phase of like rebranding it uh, possibly change the name of the channel as well uh, it's currently Shoot Dang Ranch and Shoot Dang Ranch isn't just me it's the three of us we have 60 acres it's not just my channel and I'm trying to uh, get away from that so I'm, I'm seriously considered changing the name of this channel uh, since I am living in a shed and uh, there's always shit that happens on my channel that's crazy I thought about naming the channel shed happens with Jared Crocker um, I love the shoot dang ranch logo I love the name of it but I think we want to keep that as a brand for the property and not just for one channel so um, I think by the time you watch this video I'm going to change the name to Shed Happens with Jared Crocker. And, uh, oh, come on, dude. I'm in the middle of town. There's a guy with a tractor driving. He was blocking the road. You can see him right there. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to kind of rebrand this. Like I said, I'm going to change the name of it, change up the days that I post. I actually have a set schedule so you know exactly when I'm posting. And then uh, just do more content on the property. I, I hate doing vi videos in vehicles like this, but... Unfortunately, when we don't have internet, I find myself in a vehicle going into town pretty often. So there will still be some in the vehicle, but for the most part, it's going to be at the house. I would love to show more of uh, behind the scenes of what really goes on inside the shed to house. Uh, just how I spend my evenings in there, uh, in the morning, stuff like that. I'm still considering maybe bringing in a, uh, a little mini fridge since I still have the... I have the big mini fridge in the in the camper and then I also have my old one that I was using. So I'm thinking about maybe bringing the old one, putting it inside the shed so I still have a little bit of stuff I can have in there as far as like waters and stuff to keep them cold. And then uh, have all my food and stuff out in the camper. I don't want to overdo stuff inside the shed because I know when I have to spray foam everything, it's going to be just more stuff I have to move around. So like I said, a lot of, a lot of changes and changes are good. And uh, I don't know. I'll be able to show more of the, the animals on this channel. I'm trying to focus more on just the shed build for now on the, on the main uh, Jared Crocker channel. That seems to be what's, uh, what people are wanting to see on my videos. I've noticed an increase on the views. I've seen an increase on subscribers. I think I'm almost at 70,000 now, which is insane. Uh, Jason's channel is still doing great. I think one of his... Uh, one of the videos that went viral on his channel, I think, is getting another boost to it because he said he's starting to get some subs off that now. And uh, I'm just having a a good amount of views compared to the amount of subscribers I have. It's I've averaged anywhere from 50,000 all the way up to 100,000 on some of these videos recently. And uh, I am getting a lot of subs from that as well, which I very much appreciate. And I appreciate all the people that have stuck around uh, that have waited this long for the shed to come in and sticking around and like I said on the other video the the analytics are showing more men are watching now I guess like I said that I think they like more of the building stuff and uh, a younger crowd as well is starting to come in so I want to try to put out good content and uh, actually show a lot of progress on these videos it's just uh, it's just a lot of work I know it's when you hear you're just a youtuber oh that's not a real job I told Jason that before uh, when I had my real job and uh, I mean, it's a lot of work, a lot of filming, a lot of editing, just a lot of camera angles. On top of that, you're actually having to build. So you're not just a videographer, you're a videographer, you're an editor, you're, a, you're your own manager, you're a, you're a contractor, a landscaper, a, a gardener, a farmer, all that kind of stuff all in one, a rancher. Um, so it's a lot of work and I'm very much looking forward to it. And it's just, I don't know, I got a, I got a new pep in my step, I guess you could say, with uh, the way the channel's, the direction it's going right now. So 
um, that's just some stuff going on and I hope you guys stick around and I'm going to try to put out better content on this channel, focus a little bit more time on here instead of having this channel on the back burner like I have the past couple of weeks. So anyways, I just pulled up to Walmart, so I got to get some groceries, pick up a paintbrush or two, and then I uh, got to go check the mail and do some other stuff. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, look forward to putting out more content for you and looking forward to see you guys in a live chat tonight. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. We will catch you on the next one. Peace. Bye, people.